One condition, though, Carter. What's that? You have to promise you won't fall in love with me. Mandy Moore is an American actress, singer, and songwriter. Although she's most known for her incredible performances in many movies and shows, such as This Is Us and A Walk to Remember, Moore actually started her career as a singer-songwriter. Since then, though, she has expanded and grown her career to be a very successful one. So in today's video, we'll be discussing Mandy Moore's career, lifestyle, and how she spends her millions. But before we get into the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on so you don't miss any of the new videos we post. Amanda Lee Moore, being Moore's full name, was born in Nashua, New Hampshire on April 10, 1984. The daughter of an airline pilot and former news reporter, Moore was raised outside of Orlando, Florida. She was first inspired to sing after watching a performance of the musical Guys and Dolls when she was just six. Some of her first public performances were at sporting events, and she was even dubbed the National Anthem Girl. For the numerous times she sang the Star Spangled Banner, Moore got her first big break when she was only 13 years old. She was overheard singing during a demo recording session by a FedEx delivery person. This person passed along her demo to a friend at Sony Music, and she eventually scored a contract with Sony's Epic Records label when she was still a student at Orlando's Bishop Moore High School. Moore quickly became caught up in a pop music whirlwind. In 1999, she joined NSYNC on tour to promote her first single, Candy. Moore then released her debut album, So Real, later that year. Moore soon branched out into acting, landing a supporting role in The Princess Diaries in 2001, starring Anne Hathaway. She then scored a leading role in the teen romance A Walk to Remember, starring opposite Shane West. Moore continued to juggle her music career as well, releasing Mandy Moore and and coverage. At the time, she wasn't able to step out of the shadows of teen pop stars like Christina Aguilera and Britney Spears, so for a time, Moore seemed to focus more on acting. She starred in the romantic comedy Chasing Liberty and the religion-themed comedy Saved with Macaulay Culkin, both in 2004. Moore then went on to recurring roles on such shows as Entourage and Scrubs. In 2006, she starred with Hugh Grant and Dennis Quaid in American Dreams, a spoof of TV singing competitions like American Idol. Moore then starred in several romantic comedies, including Because I Said So, with Diane Keaton, and Licensed to wed with Robin Williams and John Krasinski. She later also voiced Rapunzel in the 2010 animated hit Tangled and starred in the hit TV show where lots will know her from, This Is Us. With that incredible resume, it comes to no shock that Moore's net worth is an estimated $14 million. The actress has made quite a name for herself with a career that has spanned over 20 years. She has managed to make millions, all thanks to her acting, which starred with the lead role in A Walk to Remember, as well as her roles in The Princess Diaries and Tangled. However, a decent chunk of Moore's income comes from her role in NBC's This Is us, where she earns about $250,000 per episode. Back in season two, she earned about $1.53 million. However, just because she has gone full throttle into acting doesn't mean she has given up her passion for music. In March of 2020, she released her new record, Silver Landings, which has also earned her a pretty good amount. Many fans may not be aware that she also started her own fashion line, Emblem, back in 2005, which sold contemporary knitwear but shut down in 2009, though she still made a good amount of money via sales. As for real estate, she and her husband, Taylor Goldsmith, currently live in a 1950s house located in Pasadena, Los Angeles. She bought the home for $2.6 million and most recently shared pictures of it in 2018 with Architectural Digest. The actress also owned a $1.7 million home in Los Feliz, where she sold after her divorce for almost $3 million. With such a big platform, Moore makes sure to put it to good use, contributing to lots of charities and helping to spread awareness. In March, Busy Phillips and Mandy Moore announced that they would be joining Cameo to raise money for charity as concerns over the global health situation continue to spread. The pair shared the news on Instagram where they noted that all of the proceeds they make will be donated to No Kid Hungry and World Central Kitchen. Phillips explained on her social media that all the money made will be donated to those two organizations, who are working to provide meals to people in need, after schools and restaurants had closed due to the global health situation. Inspired by Phillips' decision, Moore posted her own cameo announcement on Instagram an hour later, saying the following, I'm taking a cue from my buds and I have joined cameo with all proceeds going to No Kid Hungry. Moore wrote on Instagram explaining that she's trying to stay productive and creative and feel helpful during what seems like a helpless moment for us all. By joining Cameo, Moore wrote that she is excited to make some videos for all of you and help an organization on the ground doing some truly vital work during this time. In the video accompanying her post, Moore promised fans to help No Kid Hungry, I'll do whatever you guys want me to do, and she means it. In one of the videos posted on her Cameo page, Moore shared some behind-the-scenes scoop about filming the Cry music video back in 2001 for a fan who loves A Walk to Remember. Moore's decision to join Cameo comes after the singer and actor was forced to postpone her first tour in more than a decade 
decade and the release of her new album, Silver Landings, due to the global health situation. I'm really proud to be making music again on my own terms and I'm excited about the future, Moore said, and I'm really looking forward to keeping this momentum going. I don't want to have another 10 to 11 year lapse in between albums. Fans may have to wait a little bit longer to see more on stage, but at least they can connect with her and Phillips and Sullivan on Cameo, all for a good cause. Another project she wanted to join was Garnier's commitment to UNICEF, the United Nations Children's Fund. Through her partnership, Garnier supports UNICEF's work to help children who are affected by emergency situations by pledging to donate a minimum of $3.9 million. Moore talks about why the cause is close to her heart, the values she shares with Garnier and her approach to beauty. She made the statement, I'm really proud to be a part of Garnier's specific commitment to supporting their work, including this initiative to create safe spaces where children can play and learn when they need it most, because obviously children are their most vulnerable part of the population when it comes to these areas of conflict, natural disaster, and war. I think that education is everything. It's the most important tool. It's the building block for everything. It's about empowerment and the need to raise this generation so kids can feel that they're at their best and they can feel safe. When they are empowered to do that, they can make the best, most informed, educated decisions about the world around them. But it starts with health and education. Some other charities more have supported include Children's Hospice and Palliative Care Coalition, Declare Yourself, Love Our Children USA, Motion Picture and Television Fund Foundation, Save the Music Foundation, Stand Up to Cancer, and many more. As many know, Moore is best known these days for playing a loving wife and mother on the hit NBC drama This Is Us. But in real life, the actress has a love story all her own. She's engaged to Taylor Goldsmith, frontman of the indie rock band Dawes. And their story is far from the retro flashbacks on her TV show. In fact, Moore and Goldsmith first met in a very modern way, over Instagram. Moore, who was a fan of Goldsmith's band, took a picture of their album and posted it. Real excited about this one, she wrote on May 17th back in 2015. Have a feeling it's going to be the soundtrack of my summer. Somehow, Taylor saw it and sent a note to me, Moore said in an interview. We started emailing back and forth, and we went on a date, and the rest is history. Thanks, Instagram, for helping me meet my fiancé. The couple later got engaged at their home in September of 2017. When she was asked about planning her wedding, Mandy said that they were hoping to keep it low-key, just like they are. We were both pretty quiet, private people, Moore said. I never imagined myself with some beautiful dress in front of 300 people. It will be a quiet one and private, just for us. The couple got married in a backyard ceremony at their Los Angeles home in November 2018. Then, on September 24, 2020, both Mandy and Taylor posted pregnancy announcements to their respective Instagram pages. They each shared a series of stunning black and white images, and Moore captioned the photos, Baby Boy Goldsmith coming early 2021. The celebratory comments came rushing in from stars and fans alike. Then, on February 23rd, they announced that Augustus Harrison Goldsmith had arrived, and Mandy shared the sweet meaning behind his name. Mandy captioned this photo, It was late August when Taylor and I found out we were having a boy. Not to mention, it's also Taylor's birth month, and we always love the name. So it was settled very early on in our book. Then, for our anniversary in November, T gifted me with this blanket with the A made from extra material from my wedding dress, and T from his wedding shirt. Felt like a very fitting amalgamation of our whole story. I can't wait to pass this on to our sweet August one day. With that wholesome ending, that's going to wrap up this video. Thanks for watching!